So hello my tubies, it's me again, Sheila True Love, hanging out here with Oreo and his little fur that needs to be brushed. And I figure I'm going to have a lot of these pictures with hanging out with Thea. His name is Thika. His name is Oreo, but you know how we have those little pet names for our cats? Oh, sorry baby. Oh, okay, so where are you going now, Thea? Where are you going now? Come on, I told you I had a long day at the office. I need you to go over here. Can you just relax and go over here? Really? Okay. Do this for mommy. Let me love you. Let me give you rubs. They love their rubs. You know how they are. They love those rubs. So I don't know why as they get older, their little fur seems to like separate or something. Even though he's still as beautiful as ever, as ever. And I brush him, you know, because I don't want him to have too many hair balls. You know how when they, you know, they kind of throw up sometimes the hair balls inside of them. But anyway, um, so thick. Let's just um, see if we can give you a decent interview here. Hold on, folks. I want us to focus on Oreo. And his <laughs> constantly following me. It's okay. <laughs> what is it, fat boy? Oh, he has the best. You know what freaks me out? What what what, what I um find fascinating about Oreo or cats in general is that if human beings were to wear the same outfit every day, you know how sick of them we would be. But yet. When you wake up every single morning to these animals, <laughs> whether it's your puppy, your Labrador, your, your kitty, your cat, you never get sick of these outfits. So, so you, you, you have to say to yourself, there's definitely have to be something godly about this because the man, the cat wears his same old outfit every day. And yet when I look at him, Look at the, look how beautiful he is. Look at the ears, they're perfect. So, do you have anything you want to say to your fans, Thea? Is there anything at all, Thea? Huh? Anything? Come on, you have people who are viewers. Yeah, you look dead in the camera and say whatever you need to say. If anything, I have to coax you. Do I need to coax you? Hey, baby. I love that baby. Anyway, I just had to make more pictures of him. You know, I think he is, let me see, I got him in the year 2005. He was the size of the palm of my hand. Look at the palm of my hand. Just the palm of my hand. That's the size he was. And he was born... I think in 2005, this is 2020 coming up. So he's at least 15, going to be 16. And I want to have as many pictures of him. Hey, boy. Look, dear. That I can. Even though they say, you know, you have cats who they can live up to at least 20 years or 21 years or so. And he's a house cat, so he doesn't have to worry about getting all those fleas and diseases on the outside. So they should live pretty much longer. Right, Buck? Huh, Duck? Oh, Booby. Huh, Dookie. Hey, Dookie. Mommy, love you, Pia. Are you going to come over here and let me lay down now? Are you going to let me lay down? Or what? Are you going to follow me? <laughs> like you usually do. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Look, I told him when I get from work, dude, I need some rest. I need to be able to uh, unwind and rest for a minute. Uh, but, ouch. Ooh, ooh. Uh. <laughs> uh, he doesn't care. He's going to keep following me. Wherever I go. Oh, regardless of the fact that I need to unwind. Do you care, Oreo? Hold on. 
do you care, fuck? Do you even care out there? And I told him, you know, this is the best side of the bed. So if this is the best side of the bed, sh- should I not have this? Considering I worked hard all day? Oreo? He says, I don't give a damn. I'm taking it. <laughs> Look at my baby. Look at how his little fur is separating. That's when you can tell they're getting older. <sighs> What would I do without my Theok? He's wonderful. I get to come home to where I have my roommate and everything, but that's not, you know, the same as book. Because Theo, Theo, he's a good listener. He's, whoa, okay, can you back up over there? No, I don't care. Yo, I'm taking as many videos as I can of my book. So anyway, Ori, hey, excuse me, uh, what is it exactly that you want with your little fur that's separating the way it does? I have to do research on why do their fur separate like this? I think it's because it's not brushing because I do a lot of brushing with him. I think it's as they age. Uh, how are you giving your back to your people? We have viewers here. How rude is this? Excuse you. Excuse you. <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. I guess he's not in the mood to be social. You know how it is. We have good days. We have bad days. <laughs> we have days when we want to be bothered. And then there's days when we just want to, I don't know. Just get away from it all. Leave me the hell alone. I get it, dude. Anyway, this is Oreo signing out. Bye, people. Thick, can you at least say goodbye, fuck? There, look. No, no. Uh. What? What? Eh? Say goodbye. Okay, then. He said goodbye, folks. He said he's not quite in the mood for socializing. And if he can't be good company... He preferred to isolate. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll talk to you again. Say goodbye again, see? Bia. Okay. <laughs>